This is what we're going to be making today. Pesto. Pesto using fresh basilico leaves, like that, with pine nuts, with olive oil, garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, mix it all up, and you get the pesto to dress up your delicious pasta. Can't wait for you to try it. So on Instagram, I usually, when I usually look at my Instagram, I often find messages that pertain to me. It's almost like they know what I'm thinking or maybe I've said something and somebody listened. But I found this the other day um, and it goes like this. You don't have to quit your job to follow your dream. The safest way to pursue your dream is to launch it as a side hustle and test and learn until you figure out what works. As your knowledge and skills evolve, your passion and purpose can too. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I haven't quit my job yet. It's my side hustle and still wondering where this is going to take me but it's full of fun and friendship and good food hi welcome back to my garden another beautiful summer day and guess what we're making today i'll give you a hint Ugh. can you see that you should smell it basilico so we have some fresh basil and yes, we're making pesto. So I have about two cups of basil leaves picked this morning. I have about a third of a cup of pine nuts. Now they are super expensive. Um, I thought I'd splurge today, but you can make this pesto with walnuts as well. We have some garlic and some salt and pepper and typically and some olive oil. And typically you would add cheese to it as well, but I'm not. We're going to add the cheese um, later on when the pasta is served because some of us don't like cheese and that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I have my trusty little bullet here. I'm just gonna put my basilico in here. Hopefully it'll do the trick. And I will put my pine nuts in here. And I'm going to give this a little mix first. I'm going to add the salt and pepper. And I'm going to add the garlic. Okay. And I'll add this a bit, a bit at a time. That's the oil. Give that a little mix. Add more oil. I may have to stop it and open it up and just mix everything together. Coming out great. I'm just going to Scrape down the sides, make sure everything's in there. Oh, I wish you could smell this. <laughs> Just smells amazing. Uh, amazing. Okay. Put this back on. And here we go. Again, scrape down the sides. And it looks great. Looks great. So we're going to boil our pasta. And it's ready to dress up the pasta. Okay, the water is boiling. Beautiful. And we're going to put in the pasta. I chose, um, these are called strozza preti. And I like them because the, the pesto will get right into the ridges here. And with every bite, you'll get a nice taste of pesto. So 
So here we go. Salted water. Okay. The pasta is going to take about, it says right on the package, 10 to 12 minutes. So we're going to let that cook. And we'll be back. Okay. Pasta is ready. I'm going to be calling in my special assistant to come and help me. He's going to be draining the pasta. And this is how you do it outside. All right. Thank you very much. You're oh, you're gonna... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember, if you find someone that makes you laugh, you got to keep them. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to put this pesto on this hot, steamy pasta. I'm going to make sure we get every single drop. There we go. Mix it up. The pesto is just melting into the uh, grooves of this pasta. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay. We'll uh, scoop some in here. Add a little bit of cheese. And here we go. Just smells fantastic. The cheese is melting on top of the pasta. And uh, let's give this a try. I love food. This is amazing. It's so fresh. Pasta is cooked perfectly. Um, there's still maybe a little bit of garlic that hasn't been um, mashed up entirely. A little bit of the, the, the basil leaves that you can see, but it's just so delicious. Mm. Enjoy summer. Use your basilico plant. Please like the video. Please subscribe so that I can share my passion with you and hopefully inspire you to try my recipes. Enjoy summer. This is so good.